Hi, my name is Priyanka, and today I'll be doing the promotional video for our short paper, Coordinated Activity Modulates the Behavior and Emotions of Organic Users. This is a case study on a Twitter data set specifically about the Gaza conflict. And this is a work that I've collaborated with uh, other professors and research scientists at USC and the Information Sciences Institute. So as part of this research, we are trying to understand how regular users interact with coordinated users and content. And we define coordinated content as any type of social media posts that have been posted through collaborative efforts like bots. And to this end, we're trying to answer three different research questions. The first one is how effective are coordinated users in spreading their content among organic users. And we measure this by looking at the user's retweets and reply rates um, to these coordinated accounts. The second question that we're looking at is what are the temporal patterns of interactions between organic and coordinated users? And in this question, we're trying to look at how the interaction distributions change over time and observe whether users become more engaged with these coordinated accounts. And finally, our last research question is how do organic users' behaviors and emotional expressions change after interactions with coordinated users? Um, so here we're trying to look whether there are any changes in the new posted content um, for regular users. And specifically, we're looking at changes in emotions. Here's one interesting um, result that we have. So um, we found that coordinated content can result in polarization of specific emotions. And here we're looking at differences in anger before and after um, interactions. Uh, and we find that after the user's third interaction with coordinated accounts, um, the users kind of split into these three different groups here, one where they're showing much more anger and another one where they're becoming much more mellow. And then the second group where, a third group where um, it doesn't seem like they're changing that much. So if you're interested in further understanding these behavior shifts, please take a look at our paper. Thank you.